A quiet moment is powerful. It allows energy within to rise. It beckons in the external shadow. Be still and breathe. Listen closely, openly. Intuition grasps the inner static, the limitless potential awakened, the shadow again light. The quiet moment is powerful, fully charged and inspired. Now I move. Welcome to Jar Your Mind. This is Joey, and today we're talking about energy. And energy, if you're feeling like you don't have any right now, it's normal, and it can be changed pretty quickly, okay? It can go from static to kinetic, so from potential to movement. And so it could seem obvious, right, why you don't have energy. It could be mental, physical, emotional. You probably know but what can, what can you do about it? Do you want more energy? Do you completely desire it? Or is it, are you at a stage right now where it's like, you're getting used to not having any and it's getting, I call it content in your discontent, <laughs> All right? So energy is life and breathing is life. So if you just begin to, to consciously breathe, you will start to move the chi in your body. You will start to gain energy. You will start to, you will start, you already have potential energy. It's a matter of getting the energy to move and getting you moving, even in just w from within. So when you think, okay, I'm too tired or I just don't have any energy to physically move, the easiest answer is to begin to move your breath right? So you just start to focus on your breath and just start to notice that you are alive and you are breathing and you're breathing in and out and you just make it nice and comfortable, but conscious, a conscious effort. And then from there, you clear your thoughts and you close your eyes and you continue to just breathe and you just focus on the breath and erase all of the looping thoughts in your mind, because this is what will steal your energy as well, is the looping thoughts. The looping thoughts of concern, of stress, or just negligent thoughts that really are not serving you in any way. Or maybe you're super busy with something and it's expending a lot of your brain power. So you need to just focus on your breath, relax, go to a quiet place, and just begin to take some time to re-energize. And again, just like the poem I read states, there is energy within you. So you give your intuition a chance to grasp on to that energy, grasp onto it and re-energize it. And that is done through listening and being quiet and being still. Be still and know that I am God. Be still, be quiet, and just slow down. And then once that happens, you will find the energy within to want to move. Having the energy from within you, not looking for it on the outside in your external world, but actually going within and tapping in to your power, which is alive, very much alive within you. It's just buried a little bit at times. You are energy. You are electric. So the idea is to go back in and claim that light that is within you. And once you have faith in this power within you, then you are, you are in fact limitless potential energy. So that's what Jar Your Mind is all about, is understanding that you have the power within you to shine your light in whatever way that makes sense to you. And to find that out is to just get quiet. Let the intuition grasp that static energy within you and just listen and feel the inspiration start to build. You can even make an intention of purpose that you, what you, you really do want to say, get outside in nature. Okay. Like you, it's something you want to do, but man, I just don't, I just can't seem to get myself up and out. So you can go in with the intention in your subconscious mind and actually say, okay, I'm going to visualize myself outside in nature and how good it feels. And then you attach feeling with it, right? Like it feels so good to be out in nature and you actually want to be yourself walking in nature. You are walking along that, in that path, 
wherever you want to be okay and and you're like oh this feels good and you're feeling the sun in your face and you just visualize all of that and then just breathe breathe in that life and because nature does give us energy so even thinking about it in our imagination will start to build that energy that is already within you we just got to make it active energy so it is there go in get it and then bring it out and you will feel recharged, you will feel alive, and you will feel that intuition then. Because you gave it space, you gave your intuition space, your intuition will then take over that, that part of you that, that says, no, I don't, I don't want to get up. Now the intuition will say, this is what I want to do. I want to get up and I have the energy to get up now and move, for example, if that is your intention. So leave me your comments below and let me know how are you feeling? Do you not have energy? And have you tried finding energy from within yourself? All right, everybody, thank you for being here. And I will see you in the next video.